you ever been ice fishing and you can wash a fish, come up to your bait, sniff it, lick it, everything else except bite it? Yeah, me too. And with a finicky bite with crappie and bluegill, you might need to show them something a little bit different or something with a little bit of finesse. And that's what this video is going to be about. Oh. Come on, you sucker poop. Oh. Strike two. Oh, Andy is hooked up with a jumbo. Ah! Love this rod. Come here, come here. Oh. Oh yeah. Come here. Come to Big Daddy. Come to Big Daddy. See that? Yeah. Look at the beautiful. Look at beautiful. Yeah, he actually matches all that purple. Blue gill, purple gill, whatever, actually matches that fly I'm using. Oops. When I talk about throwing something different, I am talking about a fly. Now there are other options. Other options are you can put little plastics on your jigs nowadays that are available. But I believe that little, this real, real hair at the end here and it gives a completely different action. Now I will admit I probably have had a lot of bites, missed strikes I'll call them, where I set the fish, bites it, I set the hook and then it's gone. But what I think is that they're normally eating the end of that. There's two ways of looking at that. Again, either A, that's a bummer, or B, well, you're getting bites that you may not have gotten, I might not have gotten, without that feather. So I'm gonna call the fly a finesse tactic for finicky fish. There we go. That's when you need a good, good rod there. That's my Yoder's rod. Oh, yeah, we got a, we got a hole. Oh my gosh! Shut it up! No, no! Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> Booyah! Jumbo crappie! <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but that thing come unhooked right at the hole, and man, like a samurai ninja reached there and got this pigzilla I'm just telling you that's when you need a good rod something nice about having one of these floating handles here is that you want real subtle action just hold your rod still and just tap it like this get the vibrations go all the way down to your bait oh that was awesome Woo. that fish I brought it he was sitting down there at the bottom I brought it up three feet, all of a sudden he come firing up. I mean, he took off like a bullet. Jumbo bluegill, too big for the hole. Yes. So I got hit several times there before I was finally able to get him. Two things, two things. I'm going to add. I'm using this fly, and this fly has actually got oh, let me get out of mouth, some black hair hanging off. Real live hair. I put a link to what I'm using in the, in the description below. You see that? So one or two things. He he could have been just biting the tail, which is a pain in the butt. And I'm missing strikes, but not in the sense that it's getting me strikes too. The other thing I want to point out is my sensitive rod, my uh, noodle rod with a floating handle by Yoder's Custom Rods. Um, links to those are below as well, but you know, you get to some serious ice fishing and you're getting subtle bites like that, you need a quality rod that you can trust. It's always a good thing to fish with people, good people who take good care of you. And today, Jim Wheeler takes the brunt of many of my jokes, but look what he's doing out here in the ice. Oh yeah. Uh, we got all bluegill in there, or are there some crappie? There is one crappie in there. One before. crappie in there, but a bunch of bluegill for Jeremy and I. See? Fishing will make a person hungry. Nita, you know, you know, you can't fish hungry. This is one of the greatest moments of my fishing career. I figured there are basically two philosophies of ice fishing. Either A, sit still, wait for the fish to come to you, and the other philosophy is to keep moving until you get on top of fish. Um, that's pretty much my style of fishing. I'm a little more probably hyperactive than most, don't like to sit still. And on a day like today, I think that's actually paid off. So it's, it's not like I've been able to catch a whole bunch of fish for one hole, hole hopping, and get one, maybe two for one hole. But what I have noticed more times than not, 
on a pattern like that is that the same holes will consistently produce so you want to check those out probably dozens of times throughout the day on a lake oh Man, what a pain this guy is. Whew. Look at that big old bluegill though. Man, he come, you saw what a headache he was. Come all the way up, bit me a couple times. Oh my goodness sakes. Still ended up being a pretty good day. <laughs>